What is up beautiful people? This is Kayvon from Esoteric Coaching. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about your vibrational frequency and whether that frequency is taking you upstream or downstream. And this is gonna probably be a little bit confusing at first, so watch the rest of the video to find out. And if you're ready, let's go. Alright, so let's just jump straight into it. So what do I mean by vibrational frequency? Well, everyone's thought vibrates at a certain frequency and that's why sometimes when you meet people right away you can tell whether or not you're going to resonate with them or not. You just can tell something is a little bit off and that's the vibrations of your mind. So before we begin, I'm going to give you an analogy that we're going to use for the rest of the video. So basically, imagine that there's this river and the current is very strong and it's going in one direction. Well, most of us tend to always swim against the current. And we swim against the current every time we have to try, anytime we want something bad, we make a goal, and we feel like we need to do something rather than just trying and letting it be. Well, most of us make goals out of fear, out of necessity rather than want, rather than just because it's gonna be fun. So <clears throat> what we're gonna learn in this video is how instead of swimming upstream, you can let go and allow your boat, as we're gonna call it, to turn around and just swim downstream. So like I said earlier, a lot of us are swimming against the current. We're taking our oars, we're paddling really, really hard against the current, we're wasting all of our energy, and what happens is that we spend all of our day doing this, and the minute we fall asleep, the minute we go into our unconsciousness, the boat just turns around by itself anyways and heads back downstream. We wake up, we start paddling again and again, and we keep doing this process. Now. Instead of swimming upstream, what we could do is change our thoughts and our patterns of the way we think and let our boat turn downstream. And that way there'll be less resistance and we'll actually get to our goals faster. So let me give you a couple of examples of what I mean. So for the first example, I'm just gonna use losing weight because that seems to be something that a lot of people are trying to accomplish, including myself. So a lot of times when we're trying to lose weight, we're not focused on where we are. We're focused on where we wanna be and what we don't have. We go, oh, I'm not in shape. Oh, I'm not healthy. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh, I can't believe I have to diet. And all these are upstream thoughts because they don't make you feel good. You wanna use your emotions as a guiding system. If it doesn't make you feel good, then you don't wanna be thinking those thoughts. Now the thing is, it's okay to have these thoughts at first. It's okay to realize what you don't want because by realizing, by looking at people and seeing that they're in shape and that lets you know that you feel bad, it's showing you that something in your vibrational frequency is off. But the minute you recognize what you want, you need to stop thinking about those negative thoughts and direct your thoughts back on the positive ones. So you need to have things in your life that cause you to realize that you don't want things because the more you know what you don't want, the more you can know what you do want. So back to what we're talking about, the example of the weight loss. So instead of focusing on, on where you wanna be, focus on where you are now and how you'd like to feel and start imagining those thoughts. So start telling yourself, you know what, maybe I'm overweight now, but the only way to go is up. You know, I have a chance to improve my lifestyle. I have a chance to improve my health. You know, maybe I'm not fit, but I feel great. I'm gonna feel better every time I eat a healthy food. I'm gonna feel amazing every time I go to the gym. And all those thoughts are positive. They give you a feeling of relief, and that's what you want. Anytime you feel a little bit of relief, that's a thought taking you downstream. And the more you're able to stay in that space, the faster you're gonna get to your goal because it's also gonna lower your stress levels. It's also gonna lower your expectations. Every time you don't meet your expectations, your stress rises, which causes you to hold on the weight, which causes you to hurt yourself, which causes you to have negative thoughts. So the more you're able to let go and focus on what you do want and cultivate those feelings inside you and start that positive momentum going, then it's gonna take you downstream faster to your goal. So another example is we're gonna talk about a relationship. Maybe you have a relationship with someone, they're your significant other, and for the most part, things are good. But they do one thing that bothers you, and maybe you're driving, and it's the way they always nitpick at where you're driving. Maybe they always tell you to switch lanes. Maybe they tell you how to park, and you really don't feel confident in your driving because of these remarks that this person is making. So every time you have a thought about that situation, you're like, oh, this person's always telling me what to do. I can't concentrate. You know, if you would just leave me alone, I'd be able to get to this place. If she would just stop bothering me and nitpick me, I would be able to be less stressful. Those are all upstream thoughts because they cause you stress. They cause anxiety. They might be true. No one's, no one's telling you that 
these ideas and thoughts aren't true. What I'm trying to tell you is that they're not helping you. They're not helping you find relief. They're not helping you alleviate the situation because every time you doubt yourself, the person next to you feels more compelled to tell you what to do. And it's a process that keeps happening over and over again that you have to stop. And as, as a lot of people go, why do I have to stop things? Well, because that's what you have control over. You can't control other people's thoughts and minds. And anytime you try to control them, you're actually gonna hurt yourself in the process. So rather focus on what you can do. And what you can do is tell yourself in this situation, you know what? My partner does offer helpful advice sometimes. That's a downstream thought. You know what? They care about my well-being. That's a downstream thought. You know, sometimes I do need those ideas. See, all those are downstream thoughts because they give you a feeling of relief. They make you feel better. And although maybe the other stuff's true, if you focus on these things, you're gonna become more confident. And the other person is naturally going to stop giving that advice because they're gonna be able to sense that confidence. They're gonna be able to sense that you know what you're doing now. And eventually, your confidence and your connection your vibrational vibrational frequency is going to also affect them so those are a couple of examples of what you can do so the first thing you should try to uh, find out is where in your life are these upstream thoughts coming and all you need to do is find a little bit of relief you're not gonna be able to make in a gigantic change in one day but you can slowly start turning your boat in the right direction. And the more you catch yourself, the more you create awareness, the faster the boat will turn. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click subscribe. I make videos about social dynamics, self-improvement, and fitness. And if you're interested in learning more about this subject, I'm gonna link a, uh, to a book that you can read called The Power of Emotions. You can buy that book and learn more about the stream. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is Kayvon saying, peace.